everybody. Welcome back to UNET. I'm Sydney. You Nico. So we are here to tell you more about some fun stuff that we have in the store this week. Um, so if you don't mind, I'm going to start by showing off the sweater that I'm wearing because it's super cozy. Uh, this is the Estrella pattern. So it's got like a little, you can see kind of a flower yeah. design on it. So this is like more of an intermediate, I would say, pattern. Um, if you haven't done lace before, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you absolutely love lace, this is a great pattern. Um, we actually also have a shawl. It's called the Harvard shawl. And it's got uses the same pattern. Mm -hmm. So if you really love the pattern, you can be decked out in it. Um, so this is made using the Kelhorns and Dora, which you can feel it is actually super soft and squishy. Wow. So, so nice. So yeah, this is the um, mushroom color, but we offer it in a variety of different colors. Pretty much any color you can get the Andorra in, we can do the kit for you. Uh, and this yarn is a merino, a highland, and mohair mix. So it's super soft and squishy. It's really warm. Um, but what I like about it, it's not like a really chunky knit. It's mm -hmm. actually quite thin, so you can layer it really well, which would actually make it a really good springtime sweater as well. Sounds great. So this is one that I absolutely love. Um, and actually, since this fell over, we'll go up to this <laughs> one. Uh, this is our latest uh, yarn that we just got. Actually, I just opened the box yesterday. Uh, so this is called, I believe it's pronounced Bamulin from Isaacer. It's their cotton linen blend. Okay. So this is perfect for any kind of summer, spring. spring. Yeah. If you're making something kind of flowy, it's got a great drape to it. I think it'd be really great for like a nice like, A-line tank top. Mm -hmm. It has a nice flow to it. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Um, it's actually really soft. Too. Yeah. Sometimes you get the linen, it feels a bit rough. Yeah. I found this is really soft. And I'm sure it's not going to be itchy and yeah. yeah. It's great. It would be great to have like ready as your skin, which yeah. is what you want when you're yeah. doing a tank top. You yeah. don't have to layer it too much in the summer. Yeah. Um, so this is a great like summer option. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a kit, this Soleil tank top kit you can do, which has a gorgeous um, lace design at the hem. So that one's a great option for that. Um, move over here because this pile is enticing. So this is another one of our newest yarns. It's the um, Paris Book Shetland. So you can feel, it actually feels, not gonna lie, it feels a little rough, but that's kind of the point mm. of it because it's supposed to get softer with wear and it makes it super durable. So if you're making something, it becomes like something that you can keep forever and ever. So it's, it knits up really nice. It's got great stitch definition. Um, you can actually check out Harrisville just published one of our designs by Claudia. It's the Sylvester, and that uses this yarn. Um, fortunately, they have it for pictures right now, so we can't show you it, but we'll link it for you. Nice. Yeah, this is a nice 100% wool. It's squishy. It comes in so many colors. I think we got like 40 different colors or something. Wow. There's so many. That's hard to decide. Yeah. And I like it because it has like the nice like neutral tones like this, but also like has some vibrant reds and mm -hmm. yellows. There's like an almost neon green, which I think is really rad. So you can make anything you want with it, but I think it's perfect for color work. So yeah, Beautiful. that's a really nice one. We have a couple kits for that one, but definitely check out the Sylvester kit. And then I'm just gonna keep rocking with the yarn if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, this sweater here is another one of our newer ones. So this is our Coro sweater. Do you know how soft that is? Isn't that gorgeous? So this is made out of Copan, which is a yarn that we get in from uh, South Africa. We actually have more stock on its way right now. We're really excited for So this one has this gorgeous, almost like heart-shaped um, decoration on the front, the lace, the color pattern, but it also mixes in this really cool kind of Textured stitch pattern at the bottom, and with those little stars on them. So detailed. So, yeah, it's got yeah. quite a lot of detail. It's super fuzzy and warm. So, this one is really nice. So it carries on to the back, and it's got this nice kind of drape at the back as well. I love this one. So, I'll show you. This one's made out of our Copan yarn, like I said. So, it uses the this mohair. So, this is their lace mohair. It's 72% mohair and 18% silk which is what makes it so unbelievably soft. I wish I could just do this, but not now, but... <laughs> yeah, you just kind of want to lie in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always like, come to this section, this is actually where we have a lot of pop and then I just walk by just to touch all of the different yarns. Because their yarn is super nice. So this one is also uses the... This one is the linen one. 
So this is a linen merino blend. It's super nice. It doesn't have a high linen content, mm -hmm. just enough to kind of get that little speckle of color in it. It's got quite a lot of yeah. different colors in it. It's not a solid color. No. So this one's a really nice one. Um, if you're looking for more of a solid color, we also have the fingering weight merino and also a DK weight merino. So that's a super nice, it's again, super soft and squishy. It gives great uh, stitch definition. Nice. And then my personal favorite yarn from them is their chunky mohair. So this is a bulky weight mohair. We have another kit, um, again, it's out from pictures right now, but the coral sweater is made using this uh, chunky mohair. Mm -hmm. And it's just the mohair. It's not held double with anything. It's completely on its own mohair. It's so soft. It's so light and airy too. Another sweater I think would be great for spring if you make something like this because you can layer it up really well to stay warm on those cooler spring days, but you could also wear it on its own on a warmer mm -hmm. spring day. And again, that comes, you can see behind us, we have a huge selection of colors, even some speckly ones we can show you close-ups of at the top there. Don't know if it's in the frame. <laughs> um, and then last thing for yarn, I actually want to talk about the um, scarf that you're wearing. So this is our gold shawl. It's made using the um, BFL uh, DK by Uncommon Thread. So this is a yarn that we get uh, from England. It's a uh, super washable as well, so you can wash it, which is really nice. It comes in a array of colors, but as you can see, we really love this yellow, this golden mm -hmm. craving color. Yeah, mustard, yellowish. Yeah. And it's really nice. It's a hand dyed yarn. Uh, it's got great squish and stitch definition again. And it's nice and you can wear it like that. There's a scarf. You can yeah. throw it over like a shawl if you want it. It's not itchy at all. It feels yeah. so nice. It's super yeah. soft on your neck. Yeah. So yeah, this is another great, it's 100% blue face I can't say that, I'm not going to try. <laughs> but it's a really soft, squishy yarn. <laughs> <guy. laughs> um, and then some things that you might be a little more interested in as someone who sews, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, our merchant and mills that we got in. So we have a ton of Merchant and Mills notions. Um, everything from this point turner, which I just learned what it's for. I have that actually, it's, and it works great. It's so handy, yes. so this is great. Um, we just got in underneath the point turner this um, elastic, so it's recycled cotton elastic. Wow. It's got great stretch to it. It's just a two millimeter thick circular elastic, but it's great for anything you need elastic yeah. for. Like masks? Yeah. 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 And I love that it uh, is recycled too, yeah. so like, it has that environmental aspect as well, which yeah. is really nice. So this is some of our Marchant Mills notions. We have, so before we have these really nice different types of pins. These are our entomology pins and the Spanish lace pins. But we have a variety of different pins. Um, and they come in these like gorgeous boxes. <laughs> Something I love about Marchant Mills is the packaging. Yeah. Everything is like really gorgeous, kind of like almost vintage style yeah. it feels like. Um, this great tape measure, which if I had this, I would wear it around my neck all the time, <laughs> just because I feel like that's what you do when you sew. Um, these are our baby bow scissors. They're really popular. I think they're great as like little thread snips. They're quite small, mm -hmm. but they fit into your pocket really well. These are great. Uh, another thing I really love is this just little repair kit. It's called the Rapid Repair Kit. It's got everything you need inside if you want to do just a repair on the go. You have your tiny scissors. You have a couple spools of thread, you have your little hand sewing needles, you have some buttons, some safety pins. So cute. So if you find you popped a button or ripped a hole in your pants when you're on the go, you can mend it up real quick and you don't have to worry that it's going to rip any further. And again, great packaging. It's super cute. I love this little kit. And then, let me show you the scissors. These are gorgeous, heavy duty coated, xylem coated scissors. You can hear how nicely those cut. So you have these really nice black ones. They're the 10 inch ones. And we also have them in red as well. Let's see. These ones again, it's got that gorgeous coating. They've got great packaging and detail and you can to see how well made it is, really. Those are some of the gorgeous scissors. 
Also, with Merchant and Mills, you can't forget their patterns. They have absolutely gorgeous patterns. So I've brought a couple here to show you. So the um, Camber set and the Florence, these are two of my favorite patterns uh, because they're customizable. You can make them as dresses or you actually have the option to shorten it and make them a top as well. So I it gives you... <laughs> I, yeah. I actually just bought this pattern yesterday. Oh. I don't know how to sew, but I'm going to learn <laughs> so I can make this pattern because it's gorgeous. Uh, and then again, the camera set, you have the option. It shows you here at the back. You can shorten it, you can make it longer, whatever you want. I love how customizable that is. And then I wanted to show you here, one of our other old and true favorites is the box box. It's got this really nice pleating detail in the front. And again, you can customize it to make it a new shirt as well as the leg. I love that option to be able to do that. Um, it comes in the pattern. And then two of our newest ones that we just got from Russian Mills is the Mary White. It's almost like a sailor style mm -hmm. top, which is really nice. So nice. And once again, surprisingly, you can cut it, you can make it a short and make it into a top as well. It's got this like cute little button detail here. We'll do a close up for you and a nice little pocket. This one's super cute. I love this one. And then we also just got the Harleen, which is a really great overall kit. Um, and then you can also, you can get on the side, you can get the hardware. So if the hardware isn't something you have at home, right? Like the clips here, it comes with the buttons. So you can grab the Harleen and the hardware set and then you're all set to make yourself a little pair of overalls. So right. those are some super cute patterns we have from Merchant and Mills. And now that I've talked about sewing, I'll let you continue talking about sewing. Okay, yeah, like I said, my name is Umiko. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much self-taught. Mom makes clothes for my kids, and when it wasn't pandemic, I used to teach sewing at unit. So yeah, I do love sewing, and I like Japanese pattern because I I find that it's more detailed than cuter. <laughs> you know, Japan is all about cuteness, so I love that. So yeah, so I'm gonna talk about a few of the product that they have here. Do you find the actual Japanese patterns differ a lot from North American patterns? The main difference is like the here, everybody uses inches. But Japanese pattern, it's all centimeters. So like the seam allowance is always in centimeters. So I think that's the biggest difference. So if you know how to sew, I know all these uh, instructions are in Japanese. But if you look at the pictures, I think you can pretty much, everything is very simple. It's, it's a very detailed picture. Yeah, so this instruction is for this, look at this cute bunny pencil case. That's so cute. And it's even like different patterns inside. You know, you know like if you're a little kid, you can put all your colored pencil, Pencil crayon, you know. Now you're a grown adult. Yes, yeah. so and you cute. can you can even put your scissors and sewing kit. You know all those notions in here. I think yeah, that's true. That would make yeah. a great little notion. Yeah, so I think it's these are amazing, and you can even, you know, make a different face. Oh, uh, true. Yeah. You can change the face. What you know, whatever you like. Sad face, happier face, angry face. You know, <laughs> it's because it's up to you. But yeah, these are the. The chicken stripe bunny and the pencil case. The instructions almost look like you're reading IKEA instructions. Exactly. They're really great pictures. Exactly. And everything's, you know, the set comes everything. So you don't need to buy anything extra. Even like a little thread for the face. Oh, right. So yeah, it's it's really like you don't need to buy anything. As long as you yep. have sewing machine, needle thread that's it and if you're Midori you would do it all by hand okay. yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah these are pretty good project at home I think yeah and then yeah so what is this guy because this just looks like a really cool fabric yes these are it's snood English snood yeah oh. yes yeah it's like a, it's like a big like a round skirt right okay. like so, or like an infinity scarf. Exactly. And then the, the good thing about this, it comes in like this, and you open it up, 
extra actually comes with this instruction. And like I said, everything's got pictures. So you just follow the picture and it's very simple. And this is actually great for beginners. Oh. If you don't have sewing machine, you can do it with your hand because it's everything is a straight line. And the fabric is so thick, so you don't like the, your mistake wouldn't show. Yeah. So it's it's really good for the beginners or like if you want to make something with your kid. It's I think it's really right. a good project. Because you could do. probably use like a thicker thread with yeah, it too. Yeah. It wouldn't be as noticeable. Yeah. It's yeah, it comes in this this just a nice long It feels piece like of it's so warm. Yes. Great for today. It's so yes. cool. <laughs> yeah, so this is pretty easy. Oh yeah, and also like this is if you know how to sew scrunchies for your hair, it's exactly the same what you do with scrunchies. So it's like a big giant scrunchie without the elastic band. Gotcha. Yes. So this is really easy. Oh, it's hundred percent wool. <laughs> So this is also 100% wool, so it's very nice. That explains why it feels so warm. Yes. And soft. I yes. like that. Yeah. And what if you're not so much of a beginner? So would we have like this chicken stripe with anything? Oh yes, yeah, the chicken. Difficult. The chicken stripe comes with so many different like like patterns. This one is for kids pattern, and there's. There's so many different patterns for grown-ups too. And again, this difference between the Canadian pattern and Japanese patterns are the seam allowance. The seam allowance in Japan, like these patterns are always just one centimeter. That's the main difference. So I'll just open it up one. So that one's for yeah, that shirt. shirt. So cute. This something you would make for your kids? I actually did make a couple for my son. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> yes, he loves it and he always get compliment from his teachers. <laughs> Love it. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you open it up. There's a little paper. Again, everything's got pictures step by step. So you follow the pictures. So this looks like it's for a bit more advanced. This one's yes, a bit more advanced than this scarf, that's for sure. So you do need to know how to sew, like how to like put like in, in, in interfacing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It needs interfacing and all that. So yeah, it's it's for advanced, but definitely. The Japanese sizing is a little different too. This is like the 90 centimeter, 100 centimeters, 110. These are all the kids' height. Instead of like here, it's like, you know, 60, 70, it's, it's all height. And these are the, like the fabric. If you're buying the 110 centimeter width fabric, this is how much you need. 130 centimeter width. You say you call it width, yeah. right? Yeah, with fabric. So it's all the different width. And then that's how much you need the fabric. And these are the sizing. So that's the bust, shoulder, length, sleeve lengths the sleeve how do you call this cuff like the yeah like the, the, the length of diameter this, the, yeah that's what it is yeah check and stripe yes yes it comes with all that those pictures yes for sure Right. 
So these are the sizing. So you follow, if you're, if you're making the clothes size 90, you follow this 90, all the lines. No, this is 100, 110, it's all that. And then this 2.5 is the seam allowance for this hem. So if it says specifically 2.5, you follow that. But if it doesn't say it, you just use one centimeter seam allowance. So the seam allowance is built in, you're not adding extra. You have to add it. This one you have to add it when you're okay. making pattern. Yeah, when you're tracing, oh, okay. you have to add 2.5 centimeter and the one centimeter for it's when if it's not written. Gotcha. Yes. So that little half circle sign. That's the sign for fold. Hello everybody, this is Mira again. Today, like I want to introduce you some of that kind of spring-like project that I did at home. So let's start. Hello, this is Mira again. I just wanted to explain a little bit about Sashiko and then also like uh, the kit from Peace, uh, the, like uh, making like earrings, uh, the pierced earrings. So like uh, the reason that I'm in, uh, introducing these now, like some of the some of them again, is that I just wanted to make something more like a spring-like, and then also your kind of home life more cheery, interesting, especially like a, these two. I use these when I have my own like a coffee tea that I just makes like a popping color makes it happy. So. This is the Hidamari uh, series that, that, that you know about Sashiko. And then this is the, the thread that I use for this one. This is more like a very adult, like a mature looking blue. And, but then when you use this crazy multicolor thread, that it becomes so much more fun. I think like it's not too crazy. It's subtle fun. And then like the pop of colors, like it comes out so perfectly. I love the combination of these two. So like, I just wanted to show it to you. And then this one, I just wanted to, this is another Hidamari uh, series. This is for the coaster, making coaster. It's quicker and easier, but also like I wanted to try some different thread from the Hidamari thread. So I used the Seasons number no. five. It's like a thicker embroidery thread, multicolor. I just used the the green uh, graduating color, but uh, the season number five come with so many different like a uh, uh, color pattern, like uh, the variegated pattern. So I would even go for this kind of crazy one, but uh, it just have like a such a great sheen to it. This this thread, so that the sashiko thread tend to have no sheen to it. But this one has uh, some shine to it and it pops up even more. So I thought that these two, season number five thread and then Sashiko kit is kind of cool combination. It makes it more like a spring-like fun. And uh, this one is something that I wanted to introduce to you today the most is this uh, kit from um, Peace, company called Peace in Japan. And they have lots of like accessory kits. And uh, this is the... Uh, pierced earring that I made from the kit. So they come in blue and red. And then the, 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 the thread has like a little bit of like a shine to it. So it's really pretty. It, and then it hangs really nicely. It's not that hard to make. And it's going like that. So like it's really, uh, again, like a spring-like spring, spring -like project that I, that I wanted to explain. But this is how you do. You trace the pattern. And then this is the one that it's done already trace the pattern and then do the um, the satin stitch and then center is the French knot and then put the beads around bead around it and then like a, this is the felt backing to it and then put them together with this uh, combining these little parts sandwich between the felt and the disc and then with the glue that is and then, and then you do the blanket stitch around to, to secure your piece, and then that's it. So uh, it's not that hard. Like uh, the, I made these like uh, 
both of them like maybe in a within four hours altogether. So it's a it's a fun project and it's really cute. So this is what I wanted to uh, show you today. That's it. So see you next week. Bye.